Welcome back, everyone, to another segment of The MCR. Mac and me, my name's TJ. Thanks, everyone, for your support. In this segment, I'd like to share with y'all and Mac uh, an incident that ha- occurred within the c- city limits of Detroit. And Mac is going to hear the details of this incident for the first time, just as you all are right now at this recording. Uh, it's messed up. It's typical of what happens in Detroit, but there's a there's a minor detail to this that's kind of messed up in its own, and and I'll get to it when when we get to it, all right. Uh, and I'm just I'm going to kind of do my best to uh, share this news report here. Uh, the, the title of the news report is Two Young Children, Two Teens Shot Amid Fight." at Detroit Park. So you got uh, four people shot at a at a park, okay? One of the injured teens was pregnant. And the news report reads, two young children and two teenage women were injured Wednesday night when an argument at a park ended in a shooting, Detroit police report. On Wednesday, May 1st, a fight broke out between two 18-year-old women at a park near a high school on Detroit's west side near West Chicago and Southfield Road. I know that area pretty well. Uh, Yeah, I'm familiar with it as well. It's not the worst area, but you know what? If if it's within the city limits of Detroit, you you can think of it as a combat zone, okay? Save Uh, Save for downtown. Yep, yep. Uh, the, the news report continues. Police say the argument turned physical with one of the teenagers overpowering the other. So you got you got uh, two 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 people, and I uh, I don't know if they uh, uh, they were women getting into our into in an argument. Now I'm I'm giving color commentary here at this point. Uh, one disrespects the other, and well, you know. Now, now, uh, now a cap needs to be put into someone's ass, we'll say, right. you know, that, because that's the only way a problem can be solved. Yep. Uh, the news report continues. One of the teens in the fight called over her friend, a teenage male whose age was not immediately known. By the way, in this news report, details are sketchy because you know what? No one's talking. OK, well, police. No talk. one wants to get killed. Yep. For okay, here we go. Here we go. Police said the young man pulled a gun out of his backpack and fired it several times, uh, injuring the four people. Four people were injured in the shooting. Now, get this. A three-year-old and a six-year-old were shot and hospitalized. Uh, Follow me on this. Detroit Police Chief James White said they were in stable condition as of late Wednesday, but then but didn't offer more details. Their identities were not released because they're minors. OK, right. uh, the the children were not related to anyone involved in the shooting. The police said their parents were at the hospital with them. But get this. But it wasn't immediately clear who the children were with at the park. What? Am I to, am I to, in reading this report, that has, has, I have to suspect, what, the three-year-olds at the park without an adult supervision? Am, it, am I reading it, too much? It happens, this? I can tell you that for a fact. You know? I mean, you got a three and six year old without adult supervision and they're caught in the crossfire after after one teenage woman disrespects another. You know, I. Well, when you have babies having babies, this is what you're going to get. You know, the two 18 year old women were also our two 18 year old women were also injured in the shooting. One of the women involved in the fight uh and the other woman, and it's this isn't clear whether or not the other woman shot was in the fight or not, but but was pregnant. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, the eighteen year old woman was also hospitalized in critical condition. Uh, police are still looking for the eighteen eighteen year old woman and the teenage male who had to put a cap in their ass. Now right. now I'm paraphrasing. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, the police are going to do all I can to 
uh, find the suspects. Yeah, good luck. And like I said, no one's not not a whole lot. I get the impression no one is really talking here. OK, well, uh, yeah, because you don't want to be a snitch. Yeah. Uh, yeah, really. And then, yeah. And then you'll say when when a uh, a person from Detroit, well, I'll, I'll put it this way. A person from Detroit gets murdered. They never they never solved the crime. Well, why do you think that might be? Well, that that's about it on on the few details we have on this. I, I got that out of Click on Detroit, which is Channel 4 News, the NBC uh, local affiliate in Detroit. OK, uh, as I was reading it and I read about the two children shot, I thought, oh, that oh, that's sad. And then it sounds like the parents. It sounds like the three and six year old was at the park without adult supervision. Well, uh, I don't know that I jumped to that conclusion, but one wonders. Well, when you read what it said in the report, clearly the parents weren't with them. <laughs> you know, I just and and then and then people wonder why Detroit and cities like Detroit are the way they are. Well, I you can know, tell I, you, uh, I'll tell you a story. I, I took my grandson, who you know, to a, a park once, and this little girl shows up, and she's about his age, and she's wanting to play with him, so they're playing together, and. And uh, I'm taking uh, my grandson from station to station in the park, and we're kind of getting farther away from where we started. And I, I'm thinking, who, who's who's watching this little girl? Who, who does she belong to? And I never did find out because she disappeared as fast as she arrived. And someone said to me, who's watching this little girl? And I said, I guess I am. So uh, I don't know that how uncommon this really is. Well, I just, like I said, I started reading the news report about and of course, I immediately suspected someone disre disrespected somebody. Uh, right. So now a cap must be dispensed in one's ass. OK, right. only right. to find out that that there's a three and six year old without some sort of supervision there. Well, you know what? Because just, they were unsupervised, perhaps they were just too disrespectful and needed a cap bust in their ass. Well, I don't know. But, you know, life in the big city. That's a, that's all I got to say. Life yeah. in the big city. Life in the big city. I'll I'll just uh, call this one a wrap. I you know you, you know what when people wonder why you know we're, we 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 kind of not view uh, and you know we I you know I'm in a metropolitan area of Detroit but you know just, you we want nothing to do with any big city at this point. You just you haven't just wanna, haven't been there in over a decade. You know you know you know you just want to like get the hell out of Dodge at this point. You know. No, I did. So. I will we'll call this one a wrap. I'll just keep rambling. But anyways, uh, so much for this one. Thanks, everyone, uh, for watching. And uh, we'll catch you in the next segment. As always, be safe. Watch your six. And don't tread on me.